The History of Aquaculture Aquaculture is a method used to raise fish and other creatures in pens, out in the ocean, in ponds, or even on land. This is used to grow commercial products, restore habitats, help reproduce endangered species, and replenish wild stocks. Aquaculture has been around in some form for over 4,000 years. Originally, Aquaculture was practiced by trapping fish in ponds, lagoons, and shallow lakes. This allowed the fish to be on hand at all times. Our modern form of aquaculture was started in Germany in the year 1733 as a primary source of food. As the years went by, aquaculture started to grow and develop. Today, Large-scale industrial aquaculture methods are used to raise fin fish and shellfish species for human consumption. Aquaculture started to become prominent in Maine in the early 1800s. Maine has always had a dominant fishing and lobstering industry, and because of this, it continued to grow dramatically over the years. What was once used as a way for individuals to grow their own fish became a commercialized industry. In 1988, 1 million pounds of salmon were collected from 10 sites in Maine. And just four years later, that number increased to 10 million pounds of Atlantic salmon. In the year 1995, Maine produced upwards of 1.8% of the world salmon production. Aquaculture has been a very lucrative industry and an important way of life for many people. Aquaculture provides over 1,000 jobs, most of which are based in Washington County. Aquaculture generates an annual statewide income of $137.6 million in output and $56.1 million in labor income. There are many different methods of aquaculture, the most risky being open net pens. Open net pens are found offshore. They are used as large cages to contain the fish in the ocean. Open net pens are considered high risk because it allows certain bacteria, chemicals, and waste, which can negatively impact the growth of fish. Another big problem with open net pens is the potential that farm-raised fish can escape into the wild. Closed net systems are a much better option because it does not allow as much of an exchange between the inside of the pen and the natural surroundings. The most common closed net systems are raceways and recirculation systems. Although aquaculture initially came into the picture as a way to raise food and even protect the wildlife, research has shown it is actually having a negative impact on nature and wildlife. This brings me to my last point. Could land-based aquaculture be the solution to our problems at sea? In recent years, we have seen growth in Maine's efforts for land-based aquaculture. Some of these efforts have taken place in Bucksport, Belfast, and Jonesboro. The American seafood market is one of the largest in the world, and land-based aquaculture allows a much safer way to meet the demand.